the time you began your recovery journey, from the point of your brokenness and hopelessness, someone was there for you. Someone has loved you into loving. Prayed you into praying. Sang you into singing. Shared you into sharing. Served you into serving. And hoped you into hoping. Take a minute to think about those extra special people in your recovery journey. There's so much there, because it's just like, it's such a deep relationship. Some of them may be right here. Some may be far away. Some may even be in heaven. No matter where they are, deep down, you know they always wanted what was best for you. They always cared about you, pointed you back to Jesus to pull you from hopelessness toward hope. The woman I'm thinking of is Tandy. I think about all the moments when they didn't have to be there. I think of my parents, really. Oh yeah, that's my grandparents. She was just a consistent leader in the small group. Yeah, I think of my pastor, and I think of Scott. I was thinking in Sosie. The first person that comes to mind is Eric. I think of Mike and Becca. I think of Steve and Pam. I know that God has put her here. And I wanted to know how I could experience that hope of freedom that she had. I mean, they've impacted my life to impact my children's lives, to impact my grandchildren's lives. His transparency and honesty, sharing his true emotions, sharing something that was so vulnerable. Almost like a life raft was thrown to me. It gave me hope for me that I could be free. She responded with so much kindness. She just stood by us and she was always there. I've never been in a place where I was overwhelmingly loved the way I've been loved. It is watching my open share room grow. Like that is the hope. Thank you guys. <laughs> Thank you. So, so much. Thank you. Beyond words. Thank you. <laughs>